The important thing about this drug as well, like many of the multi-kinase inhibitor, this drug hits KIT and PDGFR, which are important targets in GIST, but it's also a powerful anti-angiogenesis inhibitor, very much like sunitinib, for example, although different because these patients, remember, had already had and had sunitinib fail. So regorafenib has all the side effects one would expect from that profile of inhibiting kinase enzymes. So it causes high blood pressure, which most VEGF receptor inhibitors do. It also causes occasionally some hand-foot syndrome, which is a uh, skin reaction on the palms and the soles of the feet that can be painful, can even lead to blistering or significant problems. This is the learning curve for physicians once they use this drug. We've actually uh, fe felt that the doctors who have already gotten experience with sunitinib will have a great deal of experience using this class of drugs. So it's nice in the GIST community because our community of investigators actually felt very comfortable with the expected side effect profile and actually very, very few patients came off study for unmanageable adverse events, le less than 7% of patients. And that was very similar to what happened in the placebo group, meaning that this is just unfortunately a group of advanced patients who have a lot of other problems due to their disease.